Hello everyone, I'm Heba Darwish and I will be your host for this Cypress course for absolute beginners. Cypress is a complete end-to-end -end test automation tool built to test modern day web applications. It is capable of automating both UI and API. This course is for beginners in Cypress. We will be learning the basics of this wonderful tool and giving you the ability to work and expand your knowledge around it. Topics of discussion, we will start with Cypress introduction and installations needed. We will then create our first project and use validations, hooks, fixtures, include exclude tests, base URL, and context. We will have an example also about API testing, get and post example. We will see how to upgrade Cypress. We will also have a demo using Cypress Cloud. Also, we will have examples of how to integrate with test case management tools like TestRail, how to do visual testing, and others. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the course. Hello, everyone. In this video, we will have an introduction to Cypress. What is Cypress? Cypress is an automation tool similar to Selenium or TestCafe or others. It is fast, easy, and reliable testing for anything that runs in a browser. Cypress has been made specifically for developers and QA engineers to help them get more done. And most importantly, it is open source. As a prerequisite, we should have the latest Node.js should be installed. Download the Visual Studio code, and then we can install Cypress into our project. Cypress folder structure for versions above the antenna is as follows. We have downloaded files, E2E tests, fixtures, screenshots, support scripts, videos, modules for Cypress, configuration files, and package.json files. In the following videos, we will see these folders in our project. In this video, we will start by installing what we need to run Cypress. First, we need Visual Studio Code. Go to VS Code website and click on Download. Click on Download you want Windows or Mac. After I click on Mac, the download starts automatically. After the download is done, install it and open it. You will see the Get Started page. Here you can create a new file, open a project, or clone Git repository. You can also see recent projects. Click on Open, create a new folder, name it Cypress Training, and open it. The folder is opened and it is empty. Now let us go and open a new terminal. To set up this project, we will need to start with npm init and click enter. This is for creating package.json file. For package name, click enter. Same for version. For description, let's enter uh, training sessions. Let's just click enter for the rest and we can update later if needed. Entry point, test command, git repository, keywords. For author, I typed Hibba and for license. The JSON file is displayed and confirm it is okay by clicking enter. Package.json is created. We can click on it and see what's inside it. Now run npm install Cypress. After it's done, we can see the node modules folders are created and package dash lock dot json
Now to open Cypress, run npx Cypress open instead of npm Cypress open. Welcome to Cypress page opens. Here we have two options, E2E testing or component testing. For now, we will click on E2E testing. A list of configuration files needs to be created are listed here. Click continue. List of browsers in your machine are displayed. We will use Chrome. Click on start E2E testing in Chrome. We will have an option to add a list of sample specs files or create a new empty one. For us and for our training, we'll start by creating a new empty one. Name it test one and click on the button. File content is displayed in the window. Click OK, run the spec. File is run and we can see that we have one test case to visit Cypress example page. On the left side, you can click on specs and we can see the list of E2E spec files we have. Go back to VS Code and check our project. We will see a Cypress folder with E2E folder that have our specs. Fixture folder and support folder. Thank you. Welcome back. In this video, we will be running our first test. We will be using the following page for testing. To do MVC app for testing. Let's see how this page works. We can add several to-dos like learn Cypress, finish task, and learn skills. Below the list, there are a list of actions. Select a radio button. It will set it as complete. I can see all, active list, and completed. Also, I can clear completed. And delete and added to do action. So this is the page we will be working on. Let's go back to VS Code, open test one. In the beginning of every specs, it's important to add on the top the reference for Cypress. This triple command line will tell VS Code for which package it needs autocomplete support for. In visit, add the URL we want to use. Call the test visit for now. Open new terminal and run Cypress. Start Chrome and click on test one. The page is loaded successfully. Now we want to add a new to-do. First, we need to get the element. I click on the arrow icon, then click on the component. It will get the element, cy.get.newToDo. I can copy the element I selected. Go back to VS Code and paste. then add dot type, then add what we need to add to the text box. Save. Go back to Chrome and it will reload automatically. It actually typed learn Cypress, but I'm still missing an enter. In the code, add enter after learn Cypress and try it again. We can see now Learn Cypress is added to the list. Now let us try to fail the test. We change the selector to a non existent selector and run the test.
as we expected, it failed. But notice that Cypress waited a bit before failing the test. Cypress waits for the element to appear for a bit until it fails. This is part of the reason Cypress is branded as a non-flaky test tool. Back to our code. I will add a new item to the list, get new skills. Now we have a list of two items. I select the radio button and copy the element. Paste it in the code and add dot click. After saving, I can see the element selected. If you want to see only active items, get the active element. Click on copy. Add it to the code and add dot click. Save and we can see the test in the end displaying only active items. Thank you. Welcome back. In this video, we will be creating test cases and talking about validations. A solid test covers three phases. Set up the application state. Take an action. Make an assertion about the resulting application state. Back to our code. I will command the last three lines. What we have now is visit the site, add an action item, learn Cypress. Now let us run it and see it in Chrome. To validate that the item is added, I will copy get the label. After I paste it in code, I add dot should. The autocomplete will show us a lot of options. We need to know if the text is correct, so we will choose include.text and add learn Cypress. Save and run again. We can see the assertion is returning true. Trying to fail the validation. We can see the error and the assertion returns false. I will add a confirmation also that the radio button is not checked. So I get the element. Then add dot should. What we need to see here is not to be checked. So I will select not dot be dot checked. Save and run. It failed in the above line. Let me fix it and run it again. We can see the toggle assert returns true. Now let's add another test case. Rename the first test case to add item. In the new test case, I will start by adding new item. Now 
name it get new skills then i want to set it as completed then i want to make sure it is checked name the test case add new item and check before we continue let's make sure we got the item for the toggle we want to select correct for now i will command the last two lines and run go to chrome and you will see the new item added get the radio button element we can see it's the first child and code updated to one for the assertion update the element and for this one we want to make sure it is checked save and run in chrome you can see the assertion returns true we can also update our code and have the url visit as a test case alone create new test case call it visit and paste the cy.visit run and see the changes everything is successful welcome back in this video we'll be talking about hooks hooks are helpful to set conditions that you want to run before a set of tests or before each test you can use before to run once before all tests or use before each to run before every test blocks hooks are also helpful to set up conditions after a set of tests or after each test you can use after each to run after each test block or use after that runs once after all tests are done back to our code rename our spec file to to do mvc tests add before and we can add the visit URL to it let's run and see it we can see two test cases and before all visit URL is executed as another example let us add after each inside after each add cy.screenshot After every test, a screenshot is taken. We can also see them on the screenshot folder. Welcome back. In this video, we'll be talking about fixtures. Fixture is where a set of data is located in a file. To read a JSON file, for example, we can use the below code. CY.fixture, set the file name, and load the data to a variable. Back to our code. 
let us add it to our file and before add cy.fixture set it as function to get the data from the file For file name, set it as get data. Go to fixture folder, update the file name we already have, or create a new one. I want to set the data we are using in the file. Copy learn Cypress. Update the file with first item and the value set to learn Cypress. Delete the rest. Replace the text with main data dot first item plus enter. Save and run we will see that Learn Cypress is added. Let us also add new skills as second item. Same as before, update the code with main data dot second item. Also, we still have one learn Cypress we can update it. Now save and run again. You can see everything is added successfully. Now, if we have a lot of tests, how do we exclude or include tests? We can set a test dot skip. In this case, Cypress will run all tests except this test. Or we can set a test as dot only. In this case, only this test will be run. Thank you. Welcome back. In this video, we will start by talking about base URL. Right now, we have the URL hard-coded in our scripts. If we have several environments and we want to change the URL, we are running the script into. Having it hard-coded, it is not flexible. We can copy the URL, go to cypress.config.js, Add base URL and paste the URL. In the visit, we can add only a slash. Now let's try it and open it. You will see all the scripts running normally. Also, another way is by adding it to npx cypress open. We can add dash dash config base URL equal and we paste the URL. Let us run it. Remember to save the config file. 
run the script. And you can see all scripts works as intended. In this section, we will discuss contacts. It is part of our organizing our tests. In VS Code, before our test cases, add context section. We can have both test cases inside a context. Name it, add items. Add another context. And add a new test case to it. Name it clear completed. And the test case clear. Go back to Cypress and click to open E2E in Chrome. Here you can see how the lists are organized. You have spec name, then contacts, and its test cases. Get clear completed element. Paste it to the test case and add dot click. Save and go back to Chrome. Test cases are run successfully. Thank you. In this section, our discussion will be about testing APIs using Cypress. As a start, go to RESTful Booker site to use the APIs they have for testing. Click on API documents. Here we can see the list of APIs. We have authentication API that creates a token, get booking IDs, we have the URL and curl, delete booking also. For this video, we'll be using Get Booking by IDs. Go back to VS Code. Create a new file and name it API Tests. 
Add the Describe and Cypress reference. Name it API Tests. Add a test case. And name it Get Booking Request. Inside the test case, add cy.request. Inside it, we add the method, which is get. And URL. Then we set the response. We expect to have status 200. Paste the URL. Save and run the file. Open terminal. Using NPX Cypress Open, select E2E Testing. Click Start E2E Testing on Chrome. Click API Test Spec File. You can see API is successful and have status 200. Now we need to validate response body is an array. We can add assert dot is array response dot body response is an array. Save and go back to Chrome. We can see the assertion returns true. Now to get first booking ID, we can use response.body zero dot booking ID. To validate the value, add it to cy.log. Go back to Chrome. We can see the booking ID value. Thank you. In this test case, we will be adding a test case about post. Go back to VS Code. In API test file, add a new test case. Name it Authentication. Add cy.request inside it add the method post and url for post we need to add also the body copy the body we have in RESTful Booker website, which has a username and password, and add it here. Add the response. We can add expect that it has property token.
to get the token added to cy.log response.body.token. Save and run terminal. NPX Cypress open. Select E2E testing. Click Start E2E testing on Chrome. Click API test specification file. You can see both test cases run and we get the token. Thank you. In this video, we will see how to update Cypress. After each update Cypress releases, we need to update our packages. Run npx Cypress open. Cypress tell us to upgrade. Click on it. Command is provided. Copy it. Close Cypress. Then in ter terminal paste and run. Cypress is updating. After it is done, open it again. It displays the latest version. Cypress Cloud is an optional web-based companion to the Cypress app. It provides timely, simple, and powerful insights on all your tests run at a glance. In Chrome, go to cloud.cypress.io. Click Sign Up. You can sign up using email, Google, or GitHub. I already have an account, so I will just log in. Let's create an organization is displayed. Add your organization name, or for me, I will add Cypress Training. Click on Create Organization. Click on Skip for now in the onboarding pages. First page is displayed. It is set for a default project. We have here the instructions to add to our project. We need to add project ID to cypress.config.js. Copy project ID, go to VS Code, and add it as mentioned and save. Go to Chrome, copy the command, and in terminal, run the command. This command runs all the specs and displays the result in Cypress Cloud. API test is running. Then test one file. After everything is done, a summary in terminal is displayed. In Cypress Cloud, we can see now our first result. Click on it. In overview, we see errors section. If we have any summary of how many passed, failed, pending, or skipped. Go to test results. You see the specs and test cases run. Third tab is summary of specs also. Click in view all projects. We can see our projects and we can add a new one. In integration, we can integrate with GitHub, GitLab, Slack, Jira, and others. Users list, and we can invite more users. Last one is organization setting. Last one is organization setting, and all the info is displayed. Thank you.
TestRail is one of the best test management applications out there. If you would like to learn more about TestRail, I have a course that teaches you how to start working with it. We will start by going to secure.gurok.com customers test rail trial. Here we can create test rail cloud or download it to run it on our server. For our demo purposes, we will use test rail cloud. Fill in web address, example Cypress training, first name, last name, country, email, organization name, expected users, select the checkboxes and click create test rail trial. After validating the email sent to you, it takes around a minute and the site will redirect you to your test rail created. I already created one, so we will just open it. The first page will be a dashboard. You can create a new project, name it Cypress Training. In the project, go to test suites and cases. Create a new section, add two test cases inside it, get request and post request. We will integrate these two test cases with Cypress test cases we created before. Now in VS Code, run the command npm i cypress-testrail-save-dev to finish the installation. It will download the packages needed to integrate with Testrail. Now to set up Testrail credentials, add a new file Name it cypress.environment.json. Add the following JSON to connect with test rail. What we need is the domain we are using. Copy it without the HTTPS. And paste it in the file. In username, add your email. The password, it will be sent to you by email. Add it here. Now we need the test run. Let us create one. In test rail, go to test runs and results. Click add test run. Select to include all test cases and click on an add test run. Take the test run number, it is R1 and add it to the file. For the test cases in the spec file, add the test case number to map them. Note this is the test case number that we get from test suites and cases. Here C1 and C2. Now to register the plugin, go to cypress.config.js. Add new test rail reporter dot register return config. Also on the top of the page, add test rail reporter equal require cypress dash test rail. In test rail, we need to enable the API option. So go to administration, site settings, In API section, enable API and save settings. Now back to our terminal, run npx cypress run. We can see it starting test rail integration section. It shows information used, including domain, test rail run ID. The API test file is running. Then to do MVC tests. After all the test cases are done, go to our test run. And you will see both test cases passed. Now let us try to fail the test and see what happens. I will add to get request that we expect status 300. Save and run again the command. 
We are still running in the same test rail run. It can be changed if needed. API test is running and the first test failed as expected. All test cases are done. Go back to test rail and refresh. We have one passed and one failed. Click on the failed one. You will see the notes that is tested by Cypress and the error message found. Thank you.